Makes sense. Okay, so it's pretty simple. We just read line by line, so I'll go first. Um, Takeshi no tsubuyaku ni kasumi ga tsuzuku, uh, which is Takeshi, which is Brock in this case. Um, to, so um, Takeshi, he muttered something, and toward that, Kasumi kind of continues his sentence. So you weren't here last time, but what Takeshi uh, mumbled was, Sore gara ikimono, dakedo Mewtwo wa ningen ga tsukutta, which is, um, that is a living creature. However, um, Mewtwo was created by human beings. Okay. So continuing that train of thought, this is what Misty says, Kasumi. What is, can you read what Kasumi said for me? Demo, ima wa mo ikimono. What does that mean? Uh, however, uh, she's still a living thing. Mewtwo is still a living thing. Yep. Um, it is still a living, th uh, living thing. And I'm just saying right now. It's like right mm -hmm. now it's already alive. Um, uh, Takeshi to Kasumi ni sasaerareta satoshi wa ka o ageta. So, um, Ash, that's Satoshi, Ash who is being supported by Misty and Brock, Ash lifts up his head. And we're going to do this with parts. So let's start with this part. Ima wa ikimono. What does that mean? Uh, so now it's alive or? Yeah, now it's a living creature. And he kind of continues that sentence with this. A lot of katakana practice right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm reading that part. Yep, you're reading that part. Mew mo mew to mo Pikachu mo ano Pikachu mo. So, what do you think this is saying in this context? So, mew and mew to and Pikachu. Yep, and in the context, he's basically saying these are all ikimono. So he's saying Mew is a lot is a living creature. So is Mew too. Pikachu, his Pikachu is a living creature, and so is the coffee Pikachu. Mm. What's being illustrated there? Um, ah. Satoshi tachi no mai de Pikachu no kopi wa Pikachu o tata tataki tsuzukete ita. So ah. So um, in front of Ash and Misty and Brock, um, the Pikachu copy, it is continuing to smack Pikachu around. Okay. Oh. And let's read this part. Sudeni tairyoku wa genkai o koete ite. Yeah, so we're going to read each part, but we're just going to do it one at a time. So mm -hmm. let's read this next. Nantoka kamaete te o furiageru ga yorokete karaburi. Pikachu ni mo tariko. Tarikomu. Good guess. But this is actually mo tarikomu. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's start with the first half, which is Sudeni Tairoku wa Genkai o Koite ite. Well, I don't know what sude mean, Sudeni means. Um... So Sudeni is kind of a time phrase. It's telling us that already. So we've hit um, the taiyoku. Um, that like we've, power. Yes, taiyoku is basically the power. Mm -hmm. So it's the genkai of the taiyoku. So what the limit. Think? Yes, the limit. And however, we're going to koyete over the limit. So to exceed. Yes. 
So, however, it has already exceeded the limit of its power. And nantoka kamaite te o furi ageru ga. I guess nantoka is like somehow. Exactly. It is mm -hmm. somehow. So, even though Pikachu has, um, you know, it's reached its limit, basically. It's, it, um, so, this kamaite. Do you know what that means? No, that one I'm not sure. So you do this when you're going to prepare for something. So this right here, we're talking about the copy Pikachu, I believe, who is Tataki Tsuzuke Dang. What does that mean again? Tataki Tsuzuke? Mm, I actually yeah. forgot. So continuing to do something? Continuing yeah. to Tataki? It is continuing to Tataku, which is to slap, basically, to mm. smack around. So somehow the Pikachu, the, the copy Pikachu is preparing to slap um, Pikachu. So it um, teo furiageru. So it's raising its hand. Yes, it is. Uh, specifically, it is to raise it over its head. So it's like you have the hand up because you're preparing to do a massive smack. Mm, okay. okay. Um, however, yorokete. Karaburi. The most important mm -hmm. part here is the karaburi. Yeah, what that one I'm not sure. So kara comes from um, sora, but when it's read as kara, do you know how its meaning changes rather than sky? Do you know the other meaning that comes? Um, would it be like air? It actually means empty. Oh, okay. Like so karapo? Kara, yep, karapo has that kanji in it. Exactly. So this right here means an empty swing is karaburi. It's the swing and not hit anything. Mm. And yorokete is kind of why he didn't um, hit what he swung. What do you, why do you think why? What happened? He missed. Yeah. But yorokete kind of means to like stagger or to stumble. Mm. So, you know, it's. Because it's it's totally has like reached its limit, so it um, so Pikachu, the copy Pikachu stumbles and toward Pikachu the normal Pikachu it motare komus. What do you think that means? Um, maybe like falls. Yes, specifically, mm -hmm. where does it fall? Um, I guess down. Is that what komu is? So komu actually kind of has is a very interesting word in that it kind of means like to go inside of something in a way, mm. um, like uh, if you're gonna. Uh, so in this case, it has the lean on plus going into. So this kind of means that he's inside of like Pikachu's arms almost. It's kind of what motare komu kind of feels like. So we have Pikachu, and then tired Pikachu. That's been smacking one Pikachu. <laughs> that doesn't look like that. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the fall into someone's arms would be motare komu. Um, shiro no joku de semegi atte ita Mewtwo Mewtwo wa senkai shinagara hoka shite mata hageshiku but ah but gari atta. Um. <laughs> um, Mewtwo and Mew, who are um, so Megging Aung. I feel like that means to snarl, but that doesn't, seem, but that doesn't make sense in this context. I'm going to be able to check that real quick. Semegi Aung. Um, what has happened to my phone? Semegi Aung. Oh, just to fight each other. I don't know why I thought that meant growling. So Mewtwo and Mew, who are fighting each other in the above the um, castle, um, they, um, they, they, while turning, they descend, like they're descending from above the castle, they're gonna go, Fua! and they're going downward. Mm. And once again, they um, violently smack into each other. Okay. And now it is your turn. Nandomo 
衝突しては離れ、降下して、ついにバトル,バトルフ,フィールドのチージュース。メートルのところで激,激突した。そう、何度も、I guess, like no matter how, no matter what.、Uh, super, super close. So, do you know like もう一度 Like, if I was like, もう一度言ってください。Let's say it one more time. Yes. So, 何度も means no matter how many times. Okay. So, do specifically is referring to times an event occurs. So,、um, they would show m e t s u which is the same as ぶつかり合う if you remember that. Show t o t u sorry. I don't know.、Uh, so, to like clash into each other? Yeah. Um, so, no matter how many times they would crash into each other, they would then hanare from hanareru. So, like to let go? Close.、Um, um, it, hanare does kind of mean to let go, but specifically it means to separate from. So,、mm. let go, like to let go of your lover, or to let go of somebody and they fall away. So, it just has the meaning of separating, but it definitely is translated as let go in certain contexts. In this context, let go is a weird translation to pick. But so it's more like they separate. So basically, they go far away and they smack. And、so、they go far away and smack is what's going on, right? Yeah, yeah. So they're clashing. Yeah. So the way they, they hanare is that they kouka. Sorry, that's not how they do it. So, they, so this is just describing what they do. So they, they separate and then they kouka shite. What does kokashite mean?、Um, hmm, I guess go down. Go yeah, down. it does mean go down. So it's just letting us know that it's kind of like a round, is basically how it's doing. They, they go back and then they go up and they go pew and they smack. The koka is the descend while they're going to smack each other.、And、then we have tsuini battlefield no chijo. Start right there. What does that mean? Mm. I guess, like next? Yeah.、Um, it, it is a time phrase that means, like, like right after, basically.、Mm-hmm. And then on the battlefield, like, Chijo is in like the ground, the battlefield、yep. ground. The ground of the battlefield. And then we have Sumetaru. Like a number、so、of meters? Yes. A number of meters no tokoro de. So, gekitotsu and shoutotsu should be the same like, word.、Uh, so, I guess clash into each other、um, yep. in a number of meters. Yeah. So, within a number of meters, they crash into each other.、Um, Susamaji shogekiha ga hirogari batrofi do ni ita Pokemon ya. So, a tremendous、um, collision, like,、uh, like the bubble, <laughs> the shockwave,、um, that tremendous shock, it gets really wide, you know? So, the people in the battlefield. Such as the Pokemon and the human beings like Ash and everyone, they, in a single moment, they are blown away. So now I'm thinking, like, <laughs> I should probably double check that Totsugeki is collision and not like shooting something. Sho.、Mm. Shogeki. Ah.、Uh, Shogeki specifically means the, the, the shock or crash, the, the, What, what happens when you do a show totsu is a geki totsu. So,、yeah. so not exactly the same,、mm. but super similar. So we crash, but that the crash itself. So this is doing crash, but this is a crash. But it's 
has the, the, the crash, the impact. So that's why with the hop make, makes it into the crash shock wave. Okay. It's funny that all the lines are super long once you get this far in the book. Pick yeah. the hard scroll. <laughs> um, okay, so now it's your turn. Tsuchikemuri ga usureru to gekito. Ah. Yep. Gekito tsuno shogeki de shomei ga kiete kieta usugura i battle field no center. Sakaru. Sakuru de. Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mewtwo ga tai, taiji shite ita. Nice. Okay, so first we have this. Tsuchi kemuri ga usureru. Uh, I guess fire on the ground, like tsuchi kemuri. So you're right that ground is part of this. And kemuri does tend to show up when we're talking about fire, but it doesn't mean fire. What is kemuri? Is it smoke? Yes. Okay. So this, so this is like dirt smoke. So the, mm -hmm. so basically, it's a very dusty ground. They smack. There's a dust cloud going on. No fire though. So what happens to this dust cloud? Um, I guess it gets blown away. Basically, yep. Uh, usureru basically means like to become like easy to see through basically, which would mean it got blown away in this context. And then we have to. What is this to telling us? Um, is it and in this case? Yes. It basically means right when this happens, right when we're able to see through the smoke, um, we can we see that this is happening. So it kind of has a, it tends to be um, related events with and so you wouldn't use toll if the two events were just randomly happening near each other there has to be a relationship to some extent normally um so now we have uh yeah this this, this basically said we just know this ends with circle mm -hmm. we're good <laughs> and then geki totsu no shogeki is the shockwave from the clash basically yep um something disappeared the joe may disappeared mm -hmm. show may should be the light mm -hmm. which is kind of weird in this context so may is lighting so um this is like past tense so i guess um the battlefield circle it was usugurai what do you think that means? Mm, I guess good eye in this case is dark. This yep. Is the clear, so, uh, thin. Yep. So the mm. battle circle, like the circle of the battlefield was dim. And the reason why it was dim was because the light disappeared over there. So whatever light is overhead is broken, which probably happened because of the shock wave of the collision. So, however, we are still able to see, it's not pitch black. So what we see is that Mew and Mewtwo are doing Taiji. Mm. I'm not sure what Taiji means. So Taiji means that you're basically standing facing each other. Okay. Taiji stated. Um. Ryosha no karada kara fukure agatta energy ga hiki atte seshoku suru to soko de mata bakuhatsu ga okita. So, from the bodies of those two Pokemon, um, they are um, basically a energy ball is swelling up from them. And they hikiate um, it, the, the energy ball. Hikiate means pull and hit, which is weird. So I'm going to double check what that means. Hikiate. 
to pull against each other. How about seshoku? Seshoku. Where is that? Seshoku touch. Um, hmm. The energy ball pulls away from each other and touches. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what this part means. So we're mm. just going to skip that. Ooh. Um, and anyway, a large, uh, oh, I guess it could be that the ball of energy that puffs up and goes, pulls away from the viewers and touches each other. I don't know. But basically, um, what happens is that a large explosion um, occurs, which logically should happen when the Oh, I don't know why I had it in my head it was an energy ball, but what's going on is, so we have the Pokemon, and from their body, there's a ball of energy, you know, mm -hmm. energy going around them, and this is a, what's puffed up, this is puffed up energy is going around them, so because of this, and then with this ball of energy, they then, you know, pull toward each other, uh, they're, they're, they're just going to, they're doing another collision, which causes... Okay a explosion um and here's your line hajikareta yoni iryosha no karara ga kouho e tobu so mm, i don't know what hajikareta means so you, that kind of means to be like repelled like if you had two magnets and you show the opposite side to each other and you can't press them together, they go, Wah, you know, and then we have Yoni. What is that doing? Uh, so I think that means like, like, yeah. So as if repelled, um, they koho e tobu. Koho, I'm not sure. Tobu means fly. So let's look at the kanji for koho real quick. Um, I'm going. Let's make sure my country is on. Do you know what um, ushiro means? Behind. And how about like ho? Like, like a, a way ho. of doing something. Wait. Or way. Uh, that does, but that would, that is true. A lot of times I'll be pronounced as kata, but also like ho can work, work that way too. So that is a little bit confusing. Um, it's more like um, ho, ho. That is the way. Um, ho can also mean like a physical direction, not just the way to do something. Mm. So like, which way should I go? So in that way, it's like how in English, the word way has both meanings. It also has both meanings in Japanese. Okay. So the behind way is to go in the direction behind you. Koho. So all together, what is the saying? So their bodies flew back. As if. As if they were repelled. From each other. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, Shogeki Hade Fintu Made Tobasareta Satoshiwa Karada o Okoste Shuyo Mimawasta. So Ash, who was flown away all the way to the fence, the, fe the fence, and he was blown away because of the shockwave. Um, Ash, he um looks around at his um surroundings but he's um he, he's 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 writing himself up because um earlier you weren't here but he was flopped on the ground and then you were here when misty and brock helped support him up but like now he's fully up he's he's he's, he's up on his feet and he's looking around nice okay Gosh, this is a long way to scroll, but uh, it's your turn. Fiudo Gai ni Tobasareta Pokemon Tachiwa Kizu Kizu Darake ni Nate Sore Zore no Kopi to Yo Yori 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 so Yori so yo ni taore te ita mina gutari toste 
動けずにいる。Nice. Okay. So, first off, we'll start with this. So, they were sent out into the field? Like, they got blue back into the field? Um, so, this right here is a relative clause. So it means this is describing the Pokemon Tachi. So you could make a sentence that was Pokemon Tachi wa fido ga ni tobasareta. Would be um, a different way you could rephrase that. So the Pokemon were blown into the field? Yes, but to the like the outsides of the field. Outside. From the like Shogekiha, right? There mm -hmm. is a, so they're, they're no longer all about. So these Pokemon, they Mm, I guess in tatters, like beat up. Yep, they are. They have, they're, they're just covered in wounds. Um, so, sore sore no poki coffee, which is all sorts, all those copies, it's just like sore sore, it's just like letting us know they're not the exact same copy of one Pokemon. They're just the uh, all sorts. Um, they, yori so ni. Mm. So it started falling. Yeah, um, it does mean to fall. However, yori so. So yori means to get close to, and together it kind of means like they're they're. So it's not telling them necessarily. Well, it it means like to cuddle or to nestle close. So um, they collapse basically into each other. That, mm. that's, that's, that's how powerful that Gekiha was. They're like, they were fighting, they're all covered in wounds, and now they're like that. Um, then this part. And I'm reading this as well. What? You, you read this line earlier, so. Oh, okay. You already read it out loud. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know what good study is. So good study is a sound effect that um, you don't really need. Mina wa ugokezu ni would be fine. That would tell you the same stuff. Mm. I you guess know, so like to move. So they're all. So. Know. So zoo is a relatively, um, like, I think it's like an N3 level grammar. So it makes sense you don't know it yet. It means to do without. So without moving, everybody is kind of just good. <laughs> Which basically this kind of means like they're slumped. <laughs> it's kind of what good study means. Yeah. Good study. Um, it means, specifically, it means limp or um, exhausted. Good study. So everybody is exhausted and limp, and they are not moving. Um, I, just so you know, I do not have the full hour thing for Zoom. So I think for today, since Ubi's not here, we're, when, when the Zoom meeting crashes on us, uh, that's when we'll be done for today rather than restarting a second meeting if that's fine with you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so okay, we have about another 10 minutes to go. Okay. Um, now I have to figure out where are we? Uh, over here. <laughs> um, so, so, na ka, ga yoro yoro to okiatta. so within that, so within all the Pokemon that are exhausted and lying against each other um pikachu kind of totters upward like he kind of like staggering but like but more like um you know like if you hit like a pinball that's like a bowling ball and then like it pops back up mm. <laughs> kind of like that <laughs> yoro mm. yoro. um so pikachu gets up but like not like bam just kind of wobbly gets up and and um, I'm actually going to the next one. Um, Tarete iru Pikachu no kopi ni chikazuki pika to kao nozoki komu, which is the copy so Pikachu. Um, so so Pikachu gets 
closer to the coffee Pikachu who is collapsed and um, begins to kind of um, peer into its face while going Pika. And then um, Pikachu no copy wa kurushiso nakao agete Pikachu o mita. So the Pikachu copy, it has a face that looks like it's in pain and it kind of looks up at Pikachu. Um, well, it lifts up its head and then looks at Pikachu. And now it's your turn. Satoshi wa kanashisa to kuyashisa de mune ga ippai ni natta. So Ash is like, so are we saying Ash or Satoshi? I guess Satoshi, right? Whatever you prefer. It is right. Ash or Satoshi, whatever. Mm-hmm. Satoshi's uh, sadness and frustration or pain uh, kind of welled up in his chest. Exactly. Yep. Um, Doste Pokemon to Pokemon no copy ga tatakawa na kereba ikanainda. Why is it that Pokemon and Pokemon copies have to fight? And now it is your turn. Onaji Pokemon na nanoni, onaji ikimono, uh, ikimono doshi na noni. Yep, so doshi. Do you know that word? Uh, no. It's basically the same as nakama. Okay. Comrade. So comrade, like, friend. Like fellows. Um, Nakama doesn't really mean friend. It's translated as that kind of like in one piece. Yeah. It really means that you are in the same group as somebody. Like, for example, all women are Nakama for women. Like, that's, that's I guess, mm-hmm. like, it just, it, it makes a category where you're in an in-group. Okay. It kind of means there's an understanding between you. So any kind of alliance would make a Nakama. So with one piece, they're not friends, they're Nakama, because they're all together on the boat with the mm-hmm. same goal of sailing. Okay. Over here, it's that they are all the same. This is just modifying the ikimono, saying they are the same kind of ikimono. They're, they, st- they all have sentience or whatever in this context. So okay. those that's being used with the onaji. They're just making it really obvious. Mm. So what does it say? So even though they're all the same Pokemon, or I guess they're all Pokemon, yeah. and they're all living, they're all sentient. Yep. Perfect. It doesn't like it doesn't say it's like sentient, but I'm just saying that that's how like the Dolshi is like grouping them together with like versus like, for example um they're probably not including like the same ikimono as like a a dog or something i don't know like a mm. a, a, a bee i don't know like they're they're just they're just they're just what what to do all these people have have in common they're ikimono they're they're alive but this is kind of just i just had said to you it's like a random mm-hmm. example uh and just uh, doshi means like fellows. Senta sakuru kara hanareta mute mute wa energy o sara ni zotai sasete taiji shiteru. So um, you and you two who have left the circle center of the battlefield, they um, they are facing each other. And the energy ball around them has like increased like tenfold or something like by by a lot. And however, um, what does Ash yell? Mo yamete kude. What does that mean? Uh, enough already. Yep. So, do you know what this kude is? Um, not exactly in this context. So, do you know kureru? Like, ageru vs kureru vs uh, morao. Like to receive, is it? Yep, it is the to receive word. 
So in Japanese, like I, I feel like this isn't taught, but in Japanese, when you want somebody to do something for you, a lot of times kure do is used there, and he's shortened it to kure to make it more like an order, but it's still like a favor for him. If Ash benefits from this, he used kure. So, mo yamate kure basically means stop for me. Do mm. this for my sake. Um, if, for example, it ended with morao, this would mean like do this for me, but I'm gonna do it myself. Like for example, have you ever like opened like a pack of gum in class and kids are like, give me some gum? Yeah. If a kid went over, grabbed a piece of gum and went, morao, they might say like morao, like I'll receive this. So morao is more like, I'm just gonna do it, but like, thank you, haha. Mm. So that, that's how those can be different when the person is using that. So. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm going to give you the next line as well, because I don't have to scroll for it. <laughs> Satoshi wa tachi agete field e kake dashita. Nice. So, I guess he stood up on the field. Uh, I don't know what kake dashita means. Nice. So, yeah, this is a word that definitely doesn't show up um, in, like, any kind of textbook. But it is extremely common in books. It basically means to rush the kake part, and then it will be modified with a random other verb. Like, for example, kake oriru would be to rush down a hill, or kake yoru means to rush up specifically to something. So, kake is a super common compound word in uh, Japanese. So, kake dasu just basically means to rush forth. And we have the direction as to rush toward um, the firudo, right? So where did he run? Uh, towards the Pokemon on the field? Yes, specifically toward um, Mew and Mewtwo. So um, Ash basically stands up and, but, but um, tachi agate can also mean to take action. So it might be Ash takes action and runs straight into the field um i think it's more likely because i feel like they were already standing mm. but um if he was sitting or something tachi agate would mean to stand so like, it, it does have that meaning so uh, i don't know have to watch the movie <laughs> uh fukure agatta mewto mewtwo no energy ga doji ni tobidashita so So the energy that is kind of um, enveloped, like like uh, kind of like enveloping, like in a like going up, swelling up, the energy swelling up around Mewtwo and Mew um, at the exact same time, um, it kind of um, flies into each other. So in this case, since it's around Mew and Mewtwo, this means Mewtwo and Mew smashed into each other. But it didn't specifically say that, but that's that's because the energy is not being shot off 